Sisters and brothers, it's been 16, almost 17 years since the horrific attacks of 9-11. And we still as a community find ourselves unprepared in so many moments. Why, sisters and brothers, why are we so unprepared? Why are we so afraid of this administration and the potential chaos that they will ensue on our community? And we already saw their potential when they come out every few weeks, Muslim ban one, Muslim ban two, Muslim ban three. They are relentless, they are persistent and consistent and wanna see how much we as a community can endure and wanna see who our friends are and how hard we're going to fight back against this administration. And I hope that we, when we stand up to those who oppress our communities, that Allah accepts from us that as a form of jihad, that we are struggling against tyrants and rulers, not only abroad in the Middle East or in the other side of the world, but here in these United States of America where you have fascists and white supremacists and Islamophobes reigning in the White House. We have to stay outraged. Do not criticize me when I say that we as a Muslim community in these United States of America have to be perpetually outraged every single day. When I wake up in the morning and I remember who's sitting in the White House, I am outraged. This is not normal, sisters and brothers. Those people sitting in the most powerful seats in this country is not normal. So do not ever be those citizens that normalize this administration because when the day comes that something horrific happens to us or to another community, you will be responsible for normalizing this administration. Our number one and top priority is to protect and defend our communities. It is not to assimilate and to please any other people in authority. Our obligation is to our young people, is to our women and make sure our, our women are protected in our community. And our top priority, even higher than all those priorities, is to please Allah and only Allah.